Hey YouTube, it's uh, Survival Every Day. Still have a little bit of a head cold going on here, so I apologize for the uh, nasally uh, sounding commentator here. The, and uh, again, the nasal dink. Anyway, um, <clears throat> got the just in case too. Uh, you know, I, I've been so busy, I haven't even had a chance to shoot it. Uh, I hopefully, I'll, I'm gonna try to go and shoot it tomorrow. Um, but I got a couple of things for it, and uh, I already did a, an unboxing video of it, but it didn't turn out very well, so. Oh well. <laughs> so anyway, so what I did is I did get a uh, Hogue Tamer pistol grip for it, and I'm gonna try to uh, see how this is versus the uh, stock um, handle grip that comes with it. Excuse the pun. Again, uh, and then also I got the uh, side saddle um, that it carries an extra six rounds, which I think is pretty nice. Uh, so I was gonna do a quick little video of. Uh, installing this and this. So, let me go ahead and get the uh, just in, uh, in case two out here. Okay, so I, I got it out of the bag, and um, here is the um, standard uh, grip. Let me get a little close up on that. Here's the standard uh, grip. You do have here um, sort of like a sling uh, point. Um, it is hollow underneath in here. Um, this is where the bolt goes in into the uh, the rear of the shotgun and and mounts this uh, grip. It is uh, it's hardened plastic. It's pretty hard. Uh, and then the Hogue Tamer um, is, is sort of rubberized. Uh, the bolt mounts to the, in the same manner um, to the back, and it's got some pretty nice. Uh, very similar but nicer uh, finger grooves I guess um, and it's, it's got a nice texture to it and it's pretty cushy uh, also you've got um, a little pivot here uh, for a sling I guess um, I, I, I would I would venture that the um, one point um, sling would be uh, would be kind of nice with this so but I'm gonna have to try that out so let me go ahead and get this ready to put it on Okay, so real quick, uh, I'm just gonna put this together. Um, it goes together pretty pretty easily. Uh, somebody asked for a video on how it goes together. I don't know if you can see that from here. Um, it is a little tricky at the f at very beginning trying to get this lined up. Once you get that lined up, that's it. Once this is lined up in here and you, and you slide it in, this component right here, you come down to this end and you sc screw it in. That's it. I don't know if you saw that or not. Hopefully it wasn't out of picture, out of frame. Uh, and here again, you have another, um, um, how do I say nipple? <laughs> but it's what it looks like. It looks like a nipple with a hole in it. So you could put a uh, another uh, um, sling attachment on it. Well, anyway, so here's the uh, hoe grip. And just kind of, so I can do it so you can see it here. And it goes on the, on the rear here. Got them pretty well. <clears throat> and you have a, an Allen key that you have to use to uh, tighten it up. It's kind of hard doing it in front of the camera. Uh, tweaked over a, uh, a um, table here. Let me loose, move this back this out. I can find the hole. <laughs> I'm going to have all the... Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, it just slides in and out. It's all lubed up there. Not to have too many uh, sexual uh, innuendos here. All right, let's see. All right, so that, yeah, that's interesting. It doesn't fit very flush in here. I'm not too sure why. All right, well, oh, give it a shot anyway. Yeah. Hmm, that's interesting. Let me take a look at that. Okay, so <clears throat> basically what happened was um, you, you, there's a gap when you put it on and then you just tighten it in and as you can see it it, it uh, looks pretty nice feels pretty nice nice and um, I guess you want to say sort of a gel feel to it um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a comparison between this and the original grip and uh, see what kind of um, recoil there is in it so, and again for everybody out there, this is a empty gun, 
and I'm not pointing it in anybody's direction so anyway so that's that okay so now my understanding is for the uh, huh, side saddle mount I'm gonna have to um, undo some screws so uh, hmm it's got some pretty good uh, directions on the back here um, I guess you can use this on either the Remington 870 or your Mossberg 500 or even your Stoger 2000 Benelli M1, M2. Um, I did read though um, that there were some issues with mounting this on a Mossberg 500 that at some some component of it hangs over and when you pull the, the uh, uh, slide back it um, catches on it so I'll have to see what how that is so we we'll go ahead and get it out of the package here okay so for mounting it I don't know if you can see and I'll put on macro here in here you have a uh, flathead uh, screw that you got to remove and replace it and down here you have to push this um, it looks like a pin um, through and out okay so um, basically <clears throat> you put a longer screw in here I don't know if you can see it here it comes through onto a mounting plate with a bolt and you and you bolt it on and then this this is a uh, you replace a pin with a um, screw that goes all the way through and again it comes out to this mounting plate and then once the mounting plates on then you mount the um, plastic <laughs> I hope that doesn't break but plastic uh, shell holder on there so I'll do that real quick alright guys <clears throat> here was the uh, the pin that I took out of it and here was the uh, little little tiny screw and uh, it's kinda nice it comes with some allen heads wrenches for you and uh, so here it is together back together in one piece here and uh, I don't have any any issues with the uh, with the uh, slide handle coming back and hitting anything you know what's really interesting I will show you this um, <laughs> I, I bought the hoe just the uh, the grip por portion of it but they send you the packaging for the four four grip too which is <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of a waste, but anyway. So that's a Hogue, and this one is made by um, Tax Star, and uh, they had two two different models you could you you could get um, six shells or five shells. So I was like, you know, hey, if it fits on there, <laughs> let's do the six shells. So then that gives you um, really four in the tube, six on the side, and really even one in the chamber. So um, so it's a. It's a Zombie killing time, I guess. Hey, also though, here's the the the, the one thing. I wonder how that's going to go back in uh, once I take it apart. Actually, I think it'll fit pretty well. And then again, taking it apart is 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 pretty easy. I mean, you just unscrew this here. <coughs> Excuse me. And once it's off, that's that component. And then in the back here, um, I keep I keep this Allen wrench with me in there. I can get it in there. All right, and then un it undoes like that. Okay. Now I haven't taken this off, so I don't know if it will. Yep. Boom. And there you go. And that goes all the way back into the the bag there. And goes in like that you can see that and then you know, grip there's velcro in there to tie it down and then there's a little little pocket up there I'm gonna save all these little allen wrenches and put them right back into the this little little spot right here and you can put it right in there and zip it up and off you go so uh, hopefully tomorrow I'm gonna go to the range and I'm gonna shoot this and and also my uh, AR do a little little shooting with that Sorry, the dogs are barking in the background there. And it's uh, not Turbo, it's my other other dog. Anyway, alright. Thanks, YouTube.